Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we will see how to produce beautiful looking reports in Excel with Python. Previously we read, clean and shape our data set with pandas. I'll leave the link to the pandas videos in the description below. It's time to export and share this data. We have gotten the data and exported it into an Excel file. Our job is done, right? Not quite. Any experienced data analyst will tell you that the presentation does count. When creating a report or a business document, providing the basics isn't enough. The output must look visually appealing as well. Pandas makes it very easy to output a data frame to Excel. However, there are limited options for customizing the output and using Excel's feature to make your output as useful as it could be. Fortunately, it is very easy to use the excellent XLS Writer module to customize and enhance the Excel workbook created by Pandas to Excel function. We will use XLS Writer and Pandas to produce a well-composed, visually appealing, and practical Excel workbook. Since this discussion is about making Excel output look better, a visual probably be a best way to showcase this. This is the default Excel output that Pandas produces. This gets the data to the interested parties. However, it's not visually appealing. Let me show you what we can accomplish with a little bit of extra Python code on top of the standard Pandas library. This is the enhanced Excel output using XLS Writer module. Using XLS Writer, we can create well-composed, visually appealing reports in Excel. We have given a title and a subtitle to our report to give it some context. We have formatted the headers to make them stand out. Our columns are well spaced to fit the text. And we have numeric column formatted as currencies with two decimal places. Finally, we have added the totals for the numeric columns at the end. Enough talk, let's get into the coding. Let's begin by looking at how to use XLS Writer to make a beautiful Excel report. I will quickly cover the data import and filter part as we have covered this in the previous session. I am using Jupyter Notebook as the IDE. We will import the required libraries at the top. So I am importing pandas, numpy, and XLS Writer, and from it, Excel row call to cell. Let's read in the data from an Excel file. We will narrow down this data frame by selecting the required columns as we don't need all the columns for the report. I'll go ahead and rename the columns for the presentation purposes. Let's also filter this data frame down for clothing category and for US only. And we will set the product to classic vest. We separate the multiple filter condition by and symbol and each condition is in parentheses. I'll also limit the data for one month so we have less data to work with. We have 15 rows of data to work with. I'll add in a new column, net, for the net sales and convert the date to string for the presentation purposes. Let's preview the data frame and see how our data looks. We are ready to export this data frame. We will save the data using the to Excel function from pandas and we'll save the output as an Excel file. I'll go ahead and open and preview the file. This is how the default output looks from pandas. We can notice a couple of things that would be nice to fix. The column width makes it tough to see all the data. And it would be nice to have sales number formatted at currency and with the two decimal places. There are no totals at the bottom and we can go ahead and add the totals uh, at the end of our data. And overall, this output is very basic and boring looking. So we can go ahead and spruce it up. We'll polish the pandas Excel output with just a little more coding. And we can create a more sophisticated Excel output with XLS Writer. We create a writer object and use the to Excel to create a workbook. And to the to Excel function, we pass this writer's object. Usually to the Excel function, we provide the file name. The key is to get access to the worksheet object, which enables us to use all the XLS writer's capability. So from the writer object, we can access the workbook and then worksheet, which we named as report. Now that we have the worksheet, we can do anything that XLS writer supports. I am looking up the available functions and tricks in the XLS writer's documentation. 
I encourage you to take a look at the documentation. It is very well written and shows you all the capability available for, for customizing Excel output. I'll leave the link in the description below. By accessing the worksheet, we can easily utilize all XLS Writer's feature into our output. I'll walk through a few of them to give you some idea. First, we resize the sheet by adjusting the zoom level. I'll set it to 90%. Let's add some formatting for the headers by using the Add Format function. This will help us with styling the output. We align the header center and set the background color and set the font color and make the font bold. I'll go ahead and add a title and set the formatting for the title, such as font size and color. And I'll also add in a subheading as well. I'll merge the first two rows with merge range function. And in the first row, we supply the range and the title and then the formatting. And in the second row, we simply set the subheading. We will set the start of the header in row three, since we have the heading in the first two rows. And we set the header names and format by iterating over the data frame columns. Our report has a title and formatted headers. We can concentrate on the body or the data. Here is an example of formatting numbers. We will add thousand separator and two decimal places for the numeric columns. And once again, we will utilize the add function for this. I'll add formatting for the total row that we will add at the end. As we saw in the default output, the column width needs to be adjusted so we can see all the data. Let's adjust the width with set column function. And to this function, we pass in the column range and set the width to 20% for the text columns. And using the set column function, we can set the numeric columns formatting. Here we are providing the column range, width, and the column formatting. So we have set the column width and we have formatted our numeric columns. I'll go ahead and grab the number of rows in our data frame. This will make it easier for us to add our Excel formulas a little later. Now we will add the totals at the end of this report. We loop through the numeric columns, which in my case has the index of five to nine. We grab the cell location and using the Excel row call to cell function, we get the start and the end range of the cell. For the starting position, we tell it where the data begins, since we have titles and headers in the first three rows. For the end range, we use the number rows variable, and this contains the number of rows in our data frame. Then we create the sum function with the start and end range with the help of format function. And I am printing out the range and the formula for the demonstration purposes to see what we are doing here. Finally, using the right formula function, we set the total row. We give the cell location, the formula, and the formatting. This will add the total row at the end of our Excel sheet. Let's add a label to the total row along with the formatting. We can use the right string function for this. This is it. Now we are ready to export our formatted, visually appealing report to Excel with the save function on the writer's object. I'll go ahead and open the report and give you a preview. We have well formatted report that looks appealing right out of the box. It has a title to give users some context. We have well formatted headers and columns. Columns are nicely spaced out so we can see all the data and our numeric columns are formatted as currency. And at the end we have our totals. This is how we can style our Excel output with XLS Writer. There's more what we can achieve with this library, but I'll leave that for you to explore. This is all for this session. I hope you like the content. Be sure to like, subscribe, and post any questions that you may have. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.